Hi guys, it's me, Tikir Goin. In our today's video, we will create another video about solving quadratic equations by extracting the square roots. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Actually guys, we have a lot of videos about quadratic equations and you can browse through our YouTube channel. And what we have here for today is that we have the equation 2 times 5x plus 2 squared is equal to 64. So the question here, how are we going to solve this using extracting the square roots? So let's try solve the problem. Given this equation, as you can see, we have 2 times 5x plus 2 squared is equal to 64. The first thing you need to do here is to eliminate your coefficient 2. So what we need to do is to divide both sides of the equation by 2 divided by 2. So what's next? After that, we can cancel out this 2 and 2. What we have here right now is 5x plus 2 raised to the second power. And here, on the right side of the equation, we have 64 divided by 2 that is equal to 32. So after this, as you can see, ito na yung pattern natin. We all, you already have x squared is equal to k. If that is the case, we can directly extract the square roots of these two parts of the equation. So remember, ha, when you're getting a square root, don't forget your positive and negative. Here, for this part, we can easily cancel, out, cancel this out. Cancel this out. So what we have here is 5x plus 2 is equal to 32 is not a perfect square. Okay? 32 is not a perfect square. So what we need to do is to extract the square root of 32 by factoring it out. We're in uh, one of the factors must be a perfect square. So let's think about it. Okay? 32 can be factored out as 16 times 2, right? So we have here 32, square root of 32 is equal to the square root of 16 times 2. Remember, huh? if the number is not a perfect square, try to think if it's factorable with a perfect square number. Let's continue. In this case, we can separately get the square root of 16 times the square root of 2, where as you can see, this 16 is a perfect square, and the square root of 16 is 4. And since 2 is not a perfect square, and it doesn't have factors na perfect square aside from 1, it will remain as 2. So when we are asked, what is the square root of 32? The answer is positive, negative, 4, square root of 2. So after this, we will transpose 2 to the other side of the equation and it will become 5x is equal to the positive negative 4 square root of 2 and then this will become negative 2. But in this case, we're not yet done guys. We still have this 5 as the coefficient of x. Meaning, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 5. Divide by 5 cancel, cancel, your x is equal to positive negative 4 square root of 2 minus 2 over 5. Right now, we can declare that this part or this is the answer or these are the solutions. But, if you want to identify the value of your first root individually, separately from your second root, well, nothing going dito. Let's say you have your x sub 1. Your x sub 1 is equal to the positive 4, 4 square root of 2. 4 square root of 2 minus 2 over your denominator 5. This is the first root. Okay? Next, for the second root, x sub 2, use the negative 4 square root of 2. 
minus 2 over 5. And that's it, guys. So I hope, guys, you learned something from this video. And if you want to learn more about quadratic equations, you can see the different videos that we have in our YouTube channel. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!